Hello. Uh, today we are going to look at a very specific uh, subject of metropolitan uh, management and design, which is the uh, metropolitan acupuncture. Uh, when you have a, a large metropolis, uh, the issues that you have to deal with are very complex and uh, take a lot of territory. So in that level of scales that you have to deal with, you have the urban scale, the urban design scale, and above the metropolitan scale, which is 150,000, you have the national, the continental, and the world scale. We have seen that in another of the presentations. Um, then you have all the uh, digits uh, of the metropolis, which are not run by you. It's, it's a dialogue with the mayors, with the agencies that provide services, electricity, pow uh, power, uh, water and so on, and as well national ministries, because obviously in uh, many parts of the world the municipalities are not the ones who really control the national budget, which is the most important asset to, for investments. No? So in these metropolis, which many countries have just one or two, uh, and they are essential for the good uh, work of the nation, if Manila doesn't work, the Philippines do not work, you really need the involvement of the national uh, budget and the ministry. So you have to deal with all these people that have their own competences and their own roles and you cannot impose any of your criteria. You have to discuss that more into an authority uh, approach than, rather than in a potestas approach. We have seen that with uh, Aristotle uh, some time before. So, Instead of trying to control everything, what you have to really look is what are the essential strategic points of the metropolis where you really have to work to make a change of the whole metropolis. That's why we call it acupuncture. This is the example of Madrid. These are the main projects that we really developed for Madrid to, to, to make the whole thing uh, change. Uh, we have used sometimes the chess uh, analogy. Uh, to, to, you play uh, you, you work with a metropolis as you play chess, no? So when you put the queen or you put an essential figure in the chess, you are really pl uh, playing the whole strategy of the game. You do the same thing with this kind of acupuncture. When you are dealing with acupuncture, you really need to have a, a, a chart of the body because if you don't have a chart, you don't know where you are putting the, the needle. So you must have uh, a metropolitan chart, we call it as well metropolitan mental maps, and we have seen that in some of the presentations. As you recognize Jaime Lerner, the mayor of Curitiba, he has been doing this kind of approach, acupuncture, uh, uh, acupuncture uh, urban, uh, uh, urban acupuncture, uh, but we are developing uh, this uh, pr proposal, this approach, in a metropolitan level. You saw as well in some previous uh, lecture uh, the uh, acupuncture chart, the mental map of mega New York from Washington DC to Boston. And as you see, there is a very structured pattern. It's not at all, it, uh, even if it, do, uh, it does look chaotic when you drive around, not at all. It has a pattern that even if it was not conscious, the people that develop the decisions, the pattern once went within and they have been working within the pattern. If you don't have those mental maps, those acupuncture um, uh, charts, what you are having is a strategy of the mosquito. Uh, and it's not, not only the private developer, it's as well the public uh, administration. The, uh, the strategy of the mosquito is where there is a bit of uh, skin free and open so I can put my, uh, my, my needle and, and suck as much blood as I can. No? And uh, as I mentioned, it's not only the private sector, which obviously is looking for development that will provide the most benefits, and that's fair, that's legitimate. It's as well the public sector, uh, mayors that do not know where to put a hospital, and then they find there is uh, some room somewhere, and they put the hospital there because it, it was free land. But uh, it's not the right place, and then the end up, you will end up with, with a, a sarampion, with a smallpox, approach to the metropolis. Every metropolis is different as any every animal is different. So you really must have the acupuncture chart of your metropolis to know where you have to put the needle to transform the whole metropolis. You see here four animal acupuncture charts and you really n n must have that. 
and we have seen previously, but we must uh, like look at that again, nine acupuncture charts, nine mental maps of nine huge international metropolitan areas, like uh, uh, from uh, top to down and uh, right to left, uh, Cairo, uh, Mumbai, uh, Mexico, Tehran, um, uh, Istanbul, uh, Maputo, uh, Buja, uh, Bogota, and Nairobi. So only when you understand the working of the metropolis through these mental maps, you are able to know where to put that, that, uh, that needle. As we mentioned, these mental maps are the isostatic rough trusses of, of engineering. If any of these uh, uh, lines, any of these uh, steel beams is lacking, the whole thing falls down. So when you have the acupuncture chart, the mental map of the metropolis, you immediately see what is lacking, what you should do to make the metropolis work well. No? And we did that, for instance, for Madrid. We, Madrid was lacking one of the main elements, and, and through a point in Madrid, there was jams of, of three hours every day, two hours every day, because there was the lack of one of those beams that, con that, that make the whole structure stable. And uh, we then decided to build the M45, a highway that will take much of the traffic from the center of Madrid and will decongest Madrid, and that worked very well. But you see, it's not in a round shape, it's not in an orbital shape, it is in a structure which is different, which is the mental map, the reticula of Madrid. Once you have detected that something is missing, like in a smiley, an eye, then you can go and design that eye. We did that as well in, in Santiago de Chile, where an obvious train was lacking to structure the, the backbone of the uh, vertical north-south uh, Santiago de Chile, and now they are building it, and probably it will be finished in the next month, and that backbone of the, of the metropolis will be done. So once you have detected the need, then you go into another design phase, a more precise one, and design. You have two ways of, uh, we call that metropolitan acupuncture, and metropolitan architecture. But you have two ways of dealing with it. You can have the, the approach of the whole metropolis, and that, those trusses are an architecture piece, and you see what is needed and what has to be completed. And you have the other approach, uh, developed by a professor in, uh, in Milan, Professor Contin, that looks at more the architecture of how those nodes have to be designed, how, uh, what are the elements and the design of those nodes in architectural terms, even if it's large architecture, large-scale architecture. Uh, Professor Contin has developed this kind of approach of metropolitan architecture, metropolitan acupuncture, in many of uh, the cities, metropolis in, uh, around the world. Here are some examples. And you can see how in Dar es Salaam, out of uh, the... Uh, uh, the, the, the metro matrix of the whole metropolis of Dar es Salaam, there is the selection of some strategic points and then going down in the design of those strategic points, not only in the urban design scale, you can even go into the architectural scale and, and make that uh, proposal feasible and you can produce that project that will change the structure of the metropolis, the mechanism of the metropolis, because it understands the structure. Other examples that I'm going to go through, Cabo Delgado in Mozambique, north of Mozambique, Cairo in uh, Egypt, obviously, and you see that you can go as far as designing the housing units on those places. Istanbul, Milano, Mexico, London. Uh, so you, you really make uh, possible the investment in a specific project, but you see it all comes from the understanding of the metropolis the structure of the metropolis, the, the, the metropolitan uh, mental map, that if you don't have that, you are, don't know where you are going to put the needle. We are working many universities in this kind of approach, mainly uh, Milano Politecnico, uh, MIT, Guadalajara University for uh, Latin America. And uh, if you are a university professor, you can join the team, you can uh, get in contact with Professor Contin and uh, join the uh, approach we are developing. Thank you very much. Next time we are going to see how that has worked in Madrid. And if you want to download these slides for your uh, uh, teaching purposes, uh, these are the links where you can get them. Thank you very much.